What's up, friends of the Good Moon? This is Money, and welcome to the next test server session here at War Robots with a whole rework of all the Pantheon Pack robots, including the new Nemesis that I showed you uh, two days ago, okay? So all of them have now a really, really crazy rework done, and I'm gonna show and explain them to you guys here in this gameplay video, and also, we have a rework on the workshop. It looks different now, and we have finally the conversion of component points that you don't components that you don't want you can finally convert to components you need okay so for example we're right now producing Kamiho components in the workshop line it looks different we click on the plus right and then we add either the one or the three times bigger version uh, to them so in this case I'm choosing the three times bigger version and add 300 components from the Kamiho for example okay that'll take its time blah 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 and if I don't want to if I speed it up I speed it up after it's done then it looks like this. You can then uh, repeat it or delete it from the production line to select a different one. Now, the conversion down here is crazy, all right? You can click on this. You have a plus where you can, uh, you know, install the components you want to convert to something else. In this case, to Kamiho, all right? We're choosing this. And then you can take, for example, the bulwark and choose the bulwark as the recipient for all those new components. And then you have this mover down here where you can select how many of those components you want to con convert. So I'm selecting all of them. Basically, it tells you 1,038 components will be taken from the Kamiho and 830 will be added to the Bulwark. That's, I think, around 20% of, uh, of, uh, of a mismatch, 20% that you lose in the process of converting. And then you do, do convert with 100,000 credits. And so far, it doesn't, didn't matter whether you choose to convert only a little bit or a lot of them. They will always be 100,000 credits right now. But keep in mind, this is work in progress and values may still change. This is always subject to change and this is just the first concept that they test on the test server right now. But you can see we are just converting, we're currently converting here for 10 minutes all these um, uh, component points we had. We can also speed this up or not, but that's pretty much how it works, okay? So now let's come to the robots, all right? So we have a huge change on those. Uh, you see, oops, uh, we have here the uh, workshop point on the um, uh, conversion on the list. I just worked it off. And then we have the Ares now that basically has less HP now. It has the same speed, but its shield now absorbs 8 seconds instead of 5. And, um, and there is no more a speed ability after firing, okay? So... Everything that came after firing the weapons is now gone on all three robots. So the Ares does not have no longer have a speed boost. The Hades does no longer have a repair after its weapon systems are activated. And the Nemesis does no longer have a resistance, which I showed you two days ago. Alright, so but and the Nemesis is the one with the max tanky version with 140,000 health. Uh, but it gets the shortest shield from only four seconds of absorption. Uh, which is interesting because the Hades now, which used to be the one with the longest shield has now a medium shield duration of 6 seconds and the Ares, which was already the most dangerous one with its additional firepower and 8 weapons, gets the longest shield too with 8 seconds, okay? So that's kind of crazy and uh, and uh, controversial in my opinion that the one who's the most dangerous and damage dealing also gets the best protection. Uh, but let's jump into the battle and see how this works in gameplay, okay? And, um, yeah. So, hopefully we don't have to wait too long for these things to come, and I guess this gives me an opportunity to say, guys, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, then please consider doing this right now. It'll help me out a lot, and if you hit that notification bell, well, then you get notified about these upcoming news videos and whatnot. Let's start off with the Ares first, ladies and gents. Um, you see here, I made a, vi I made a design with uh, Scourge, Scourge, Halo, and Spark. So basically, there is one weapon in there that can lock your da enemy down, and then we have seven more weapons pretty much to destroy him really fast you see the speed is insanely fast and uh yeah so it's it's really a fast robot it's not easy to catch i think it runs around sa similar to this almost as fast no wait it's even faster than the uh, thing would be the what's it called the specter the specter is probably slower than this one right all right so let's walk forward and get into the thick of it and fight some enemies i want to show you in this video all robots now um and it can take a while until I'll be able to do this. So I'm activating the shield now. And he's activating his shield too. My shield, however, will activate for longer. Now the extra weapons will fire too. Right? And that's how we just destroyed this tanky robot who's got a lot of health right there in a very short amount of time. Look, that was a brutal one-on-one -on -one right there. We have absolutely one-on-one -on -one this guy. 
And even though he was a tanky robot, we completely destroyed him right there. Alright, he's getting his shield up right there. I'm hiding because I don't want to get hit by his weapons. Uh oh, that's a prime target. That's a prime target right there. A, um, a falcon who has the ability you dropped. You need to destroy him super quick because that way... Uh oh. See, everybody combines Halo these days. Okay, I'm activating my shield now too so that when his shield drops, we're going to be able to really pack a punch. Alright, come on shield. There it is. Okay. And the weapon systems have fired and we got this guy destroyed super quick. So you see the firepower is brutal. Okay, he dropped his resistance. That makes it an instant death for him. We're walking into the shield. And uh, generally, I think this robot setup works so well when you run it with long range. When you run it with Scourge and Spark. Because the additional four weapons you have, they also have 400 meters range, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, 500 meters range, ladies and gentlemen. So he activated his shield. I'm waiting. And now I activate mine. All right, so that will hopefully get him locked down now in a second here. Come on and locked down and the additional weapons are firing boom Destroyed Jesus Christ ladies and gentlemen the Ares is an absolute super beast It is such a monster because not only do you have the highest amount of firepower of all the Greek Pantheon pack robots You on addition in addition to that you also get the best defense shield the longest defense shield you get too I don't know how in my opinion that doesn't make any sense in my opinion it made sense before where you had uh, the lowest shield shield duration on this thing simply because of the fact that oh no he's protecting him with the firepower from uh, with his shield oh I got the other dude though <laughs> okay I somehow destroyed the other person that was in between how many guys am I gonna kill now dude I'm still running the same robot what the heck oh no 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 okay I guess that answers my question then. Uh, what happens with the nemesis in the picture here? Look, the nemesis is way too far down. Come on, come on back up, nemesis. You can't. We can't see you. You don't be shy. You don't need to hide. All right. So I guess we're gonna have to make more than just one gameplay uh, episode right here, guys, to show you all the robots in action. Let's uh, let's just use this guy here for a sec. But I guess I'm gonna make um, <laughs> make one more more gameplay with this in order to show you all the changes, guys. Okay. So I'm um, walking up here. There's a lot of specters still coming in. A lot of specters are still up there. So uh, I locked him down. Unfortunately, though, it was only behind the corner there. If I could lock this guy down, would be good. Come on, get locked down, dude. Come on. Yes! Ah, uh, he is locked down now. He's not going anywhere. And we're gonna have a lot of fun with him. Bam! Alright. Uh, something is hydrying me. Okay, I'm re uh, reloading my weapon here. But it seems like the enemy is running out of robots, and no wonder, judging by the amount of damage that we have already done just for the first round. That was brutal, man. Um, so let's walk in. Activate the shielding here. And destroy this guy, this guy, and now the additional weapon fires at him. And uh, that also has a change, by the way. Look, we just destroyed this Mender within its shield, in it, within its resistance mode. Just completely in a few seconds there. That's just brutal. I'm activating the shield here. Oh no, he's inside my shield. No, he was spawning inside my shield. And he instantly locked me down so I couldn't walk away from him. That was a just, that was just deletion pure. He was so skilled that he spawned inside my shield already, instantly locked me down and sealed my fate. Even with the shield, I couldn't protect myself because he literally spawned inside of it. Wow. Please, have more luck next time. Out of like 50 spawn places, or let's say 10 or 6 or whatever, you spa he spawns exactly on the one that is within my shield defense. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's look, have a look at these. These guys fighting each other right there. Um, that's the, the nemesis is going to be something I want to test also. I'm testing the nemesis in a separate video, I, I would assume. Uh, let's make the first video just with Ares and Hades and test the nemesis completely in a different one, right? Uh, I guess that makes sense because we haven't never seen the nemesis so far. And so I'm going to focus on, on this. Now let's see how much damage we have done and how many things we have killed because this round was brutal. I think we've gotten like more... Ah! Uh, 
almost a million damage. I was I, I was gonna say it was more than a million, but apparently it wasn't, all right? So yeah, let's start off with yet another match. Uh, let's replace one of the ha uh, Nemesis here with another uh, Ares. So that we have two Ares and two Hades, because you guys know uh, I wanna make it so that we have, hold on, uh, have a little mistake made here. Um, I don't know why this happens. This is like a weird bug of mine that I somehow get completely stuck in uh, in the window to select the weapons. It's just a weird thing. So let's run here this and this. All right. And we choose also something strong here. Let's go with well, shock train. Why not? Let's just uh, choose some shock <laughs> choose some shock train, right? Okay. So now we have um, four robots. Let's check in again and have another match. See how much damage and kills we can get with the Hades. We're starting with the Hades this time and then running the Ares, I think. And like I said, there's gonna be a separate video, a separate video coming where we focus entirely on the brand new Nemesis that will definitely be a destruction robot too because it's so tanky. But you also saw how we easily we killed the Nemesis in this one-on-one -on -one encounter that we had, right? So we should probably choose the fastest robot first. Um, because it's Beacon Rush. On the other hand, I really don't care whether or not we're gonna win this match or whether or not, you know, it's uh, it's on Beacon Cap. I just want to show the robots in action, so that's what we're gonna do now. And since apparently we have a Strider and Kamiho in action, we may as we may actually still get the center beacon because these guys are actually <laughs> have some decent Beacon Rush hangers made. I think they're probably testing like all kinds of things right now. So, whoa, the Kamiho isn't even taking this beacon here to the right. He wants the center beacon immediately, and that's a good thing. So, but they may be getting... Let's let's lock him down if we can. Yep, lock down. Nice. He wanted to get the beacon there. I'm trying to also lock down this guy. Uh, unfortunately, I was unable to do that. Yeah, he's still running in. Damn it, so they're getting this beacon now. But it's okay, we're gonna get them destroyed in a second here. So I'm focusing over there. Whoa, man. Once again, we're already double killing. We're already having a double kill right here. He's locked down. Oh, you know what? I'm going to retreat now. There's a lot of guys coming in. Although I could activate my shield again now. But I don't want to do it before they do it. So I'm activating it now. Uh, here's the extra cannon. Boom, boom. Damn it. He just already activated the shield in that very moment. You know what? It's crazy. We could just retreat back and somehow they don't attack us here. That's fine with me. So let's wait for the activation again of the shield. There it is. We can activate our shield again. Oh, he already activated his shield. So I'm waiting to destroy. Here, here it is. Okay, I brought up my shield. And I'm trying to walk to the left to block the damage, but he wouldn't let me go there. He just wouldn't let me go to the spot, man. Holy crap, I tried to go to the left for like 10 seconds and I just could not get past this guy. I wanted to block the firepower from this one guy that he throwed into our robot there. I just couldn't do it. Blocked me indefinitely. All right, destroying him right there or at least trying to. I'm going back, nope, no longer going back. I wanted to, but it's no longer possible. I was just gonna go back. So, here we go. Activating the shield. The weapon is gonna fire now. Within the shield. Boom, double kill. The weapon actually fired and now fires within the shield. You no longer have to drop your shield, apparently, to, uh, to activate your weapons. I don't know why I wasn't get hit by that rocket launcher. I, I felt like I just got a full hit by, uh, by some kind of vortex or aphid, but it worked no problem. And we didn't take damage there. So, here we go. Shield is active. Okay, I'm walking into his shield here. So that I can destroy him. But, of course, with the target switching, that gives you constantly somebody else. That doesn't work very well. So, let's check out the Hades here. With the, with the lockdown. Four, uh, three, all lockdown weapons we have here. Okay, kill him. Ah, his shield was still active. Did you see that? Even though the indicator showed that his shield was down, he still blocked the damage. I blocked his damage there with my shielding. 
And now he brings up his shield, and of course I'm locked down right before I get in, in safety and cover. Of course. So here we go. Now, that Haichi is gonna die. Got him. Is he gonna respawn somewhere, I assume? Yep, there he is. There's two of them. So I'm firing with the extra cannon at him there. Boom, boom, boom. He's gonna bring up his shield. Too late. He didn't think he was gonna die so quick. Did you see that, guys? He thought he was gonna be safe for a couple of extra seconds and didn't want to activate his shield. And uh, by the time he basically... Oh! Oh! Bing the sauce. He didn't want to get killed by any of us. Instead, he just jumps into the ocean. So, lockdown and additional cannon. Boom, boom, boom. Even against his... But he with his resistance and heal, he can still counter brawl that for a little while. So, lockdown and that's a kill again. Nice! So, I think we were able to show the Ares and Hades once again. I think I like the, des uh, the new design better. Wait a minute, there's somebody else. Oh, there he is, yeah. There's a Spectre. Okay, I did not know there was gonna be another guy. Um, I really like the uh, the new design. I think they are better. They're better designed now than they were before because it uh, Why did they get an additional speed boost? Why did they get additional repair or resistance after they had already used their invulnerable shield and their extra weapons? And their mobility and all that, you know, so it didn't really make too much sense to me that they have these completely extra different abilities Now they don't have them anymore However, the rest has become a little bit better so that you can now use your your built-in weapons while you have your shield up sometimes, you know. So uh, it does have it does work to get the abilities work better together now. It's it's like a but better well-rounded package now, and I think I'm definitely liking them better uh, than before. And uh, overall, I think they're really strong. They will be dominating. Um, and especially since I'm really confused that the Ares gets the longest shield, even though this is the dangerous, most dangerous one with the one of the highest firepower. I would have expected the maybe Nemesis, as he ha only has two medium weapons, that's all he's got. And, uh, and you know, he he's very tanky and very slow, so I expected the Nemesis to have the longest shield. And then the Hades to have the middle middle duration shield, maybe because he's also quite tanky, not that much firepower. And the Ares, the one with the highest firepower of all, to have the shortest shield, you know. So you have to really play this guy very carefully if you want to inflict a lot of damage. You can, but you gotta be careful. So that's what I probably prefer, but you know, that's um, currently a little bit different. Let's see, it's still work in progress. Things might still change and let's see, right? So for now, I'm gonna say, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And if you haven't already, hit subscribe as brutal as a man can hit for more. Thanks for bearing with you, you guys. Are awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off. Bye bye. And don't forget that the next video coming up is gonna be the Nemesis in full detail. All right. See you then, guys.